hello guys welcome to my youtube channel games warehouse for you so guys this is the second tutorial of how to make a gta 5 in unity so if you haven't checked out the first tutorial then go and check it out and the link will be in the description and you can see the card here you can just check it out and then come to this tutorial so guys here in this tutorial we're gonna create a jump animation for our player so we're gonna add a uh, empty state and here we say jump go to motion jump and then before all of this I wanna check it out that how this animation is Oh no, I don't want it. Oh man, these are half animations. To, it will take gonna take a long time to. Oh uh, man, just leave it. So I will just try other animations like this. I've downloaded it from Mixamo. So I'm gonna check it out how it is. No, it's a rifle pistol jump and a rifle jump. I also have a rifle jump, so check it out that it look good or not. And otherwise, we're gonna download it from Mixamo, and this is the best site uh, if you wanna. Uh, if you are unable to make animations you can download it from Mixamo so we're gonna check uh, gonna, if you are uh, unaware from this you can check this out like Mixamo.com and then what you're gonna do is just open it up go to animations here in animation you just search for jump there are a lot of animations a way lot of animations that will help you to create your game and they're free absolutely free so I think uh, we should download this one also because I'm gonna tell you why I'm downloading this one this is the real that we should download but this is for some adventure I'm gonna download it no this is not this is for climb okay okay yeah this is this is a good one so check it out here that it jumps while running so this is a good when we are running yes this is absolutely good and then for idle jump idle to jump this we're gonna talking about Uh, this is good also. So this is b I think it's best. Okay, so I gonna download it. If you are using Unity, then make sure you uh, no wait, before before that before we wanna frame this. Okay, okay. Uh, now it is good. It is good. Okay, 
So if you're using Unity, you can download it with skin or without skin, but make sure to select this FPX for Unity. I didn't select it for these two, but no problem. Go frame per second and make sure to check it's 30 because it's good. No. Uh, uh, the others are not good enough because they are fast or they are slow but th this is the standard and universal you could say it when they download it it just so guys I have imported these two animations here they are on the front page you can say it also at desktop but because it is it will make our work easier so now we go to this animator here okay so in the jump we are gonna select the idle jump first so it's not idle we can we have to select it also but and this one this is the idle jump So now, th this is a very important step we have to do. We'll go to this animation and we'll go to this animation. This is a running jump. A tricky step here, just make sure running jump and it's idle jumping. Tick. Idle jump. Okay, so what uh, that mean? that how we know that the player has to jump on the running jump he has to perform the running jump animation like you no know, this one this one or he has to perform this animation idle jump so to tell the player to do this thing we're gonna do one thing which is a little bit you have to understand about First of all, uncheck all of this. Okay, now we're gonna use this parameter. Not we're gonna we are not going to add another. So what is uh, we have a, we add to we have to add a condition. Another. Here. So what if it is less than zero? Or it is less than one. Like this, when the is running is less than one means what means? that the player will be an idle position we are gonna jump the idle jump and then when it is greater than zero which means you know what when the uh, when this floor is greater than zero means equal to one then the player runs so it means when the player is running means this is equal to this, equ this is uh, more than zero and then we press the button jump go to jump you understand it uh, uh, this is not good enough I think we should add it will, it will going to be more tricky we got a bool we gonna it is jumping okay when is jumping is equals to false oh man it's too confusing okay when is jumping is equals to true go to this idle jump is idle jumping is idle jumping is equal to true then go to this jump true and then with this and uh, come back without any delay no with delay with delay come back performing after performing all of this animation come back to this animation without any waste of time and then we're gonna add another bool we're gonna say is running is run jumping is equals to true oh man what I added this run jumping is equals to true go to the running and jump and then come back 
without any condition after performing this animation so it means that we're gonna set it to your via code so you'll understand it like this what we're gonna do here is we're gonna set the anim dot set bool which is a bool and then we press the down button like when is running is equals to true when we want the running is equal to true then we want the running bool is equals to true also at the same time uh... no 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 sorry we're gonna add if input dot get key key down which is key code dot space what are you gonna say is set anim dot set bool let me just understand what is happening here it will go to the jump if jump is equals to true idle jump equals to true then go to an idle is also then go to this so we're gonna we're gonna add another thing which is is running is equals to Okay, the same condition we applied here. The same condition we applied here. Boom, idle. Are the same here also, and also the idle jumping true. So we're gonna say set bool. The bool is idle jumping. We're gonna set its value to paste it value here. Okay. Not copy. Is idle i d l j jumping gonna set us value bool value bool value 1 or 0 so i want it to true and then uh, we got to else and else we gonna say like this I made a really tricky thing so when the bool is jumping is idle jumping is true or oh, no no sorry it, it is so when the float of is running is false which is here is false you can see is false means the player isn't running this condition means the player is not running and we get the true input of is jumping like when we get a core of space so what are we gonna do is wanna set, uh, gonna set the is jumping to true when it's idle to false and then when is jumping is equal to true while the this thing is also true we want it to jump same case here man yeah I just understand it now oh, man now I will explain it here uh, what's the error here 33 what is the error prayer moment script coming here 30 line number there's no error here okay now I'm gonna tell you again. It's very simple now. Is jumping is equal to true. When true, when we press the space key. When space key is pressed, is jumping bool is will be equal to true. Okay, that's simple. And then it is also in the idle state. This means that is running is false less than one. 
it is less than one when it is zero it is less than one and it is false so it is the same case here that is running is false and when we get an input of space so it will gonna jump idle and the here we're gonna add another condition is greater than zero means greater than zero means it is running in the previous in the previous uh, tutorial you will start you will get this then is running and uh, when the true comes again true value of run jumping you now we're gonna use the same one same idle jumping so idle jumping is true then I'm gonna perform this animation and uh, just simple this and and uh, again gonna copy it go here gonna paste it value man what is happening is J U M P I N G I wanna check out the spelling because the spelling mistake all the script is wrong let's jump in ok now uh, what is the uh, third animator controller transition running using parameter is running is run jumping wasn't doesn't exist so I just deleted it man doesn't exist really so what are the arrows uh, we'll just check it out later okay now and then in the string bool has some invalid argument set bool is jumping so what is the syntax of set bool and I'm just set s a t set bool set bool and the int id and bool value bool value so bool value is this it's right okay and get key down key go to space if this from this is jumping okay else perform this okay so we're gonna check it out the syntax set bool c sharp unity what is the problem is with this i've j uh, it's right that i'm doing the way i'm doing it right sorry guys again uh, it is false and here it is true so man the now I hope you understand it. Uh, it's a little uh, way much tricky. I I'll, I get uh, confused also, but now I am free from tension. I know that it's true. It is working, and uh, it is working. It will work, but I don't know why it isn't previewing the transition. Oh man, at the main time the things get... Okay. Parameters aren't showing, but now they're showing. So, one press... Oh, sorry man. I go to the animation. Select both of the animations. Or uh, all of the animations. Human eye apply. And then you're gonna see that inshallah it will work. So guys, set make sure to set these animation to humanoid when you export them or import them. I don't know what is in what import export. I think I'm confused. Okay, you see when I press the upper key go up far. When I press the jump key, it jumps like this. This camera rotate. This is why I will tell you. But in the next year, because there's a lot of time, I want to press the jump animation while running. It performed the jump animation, jump, uh, it performed the running jump animation, and I jump, jump without any condition. He just jumped like this. You can see, 
he jump idle and when I r jump button while running he performed this running jump so man I hope it is it worked and it will work with yours and you will you should try some you will should spend some time to understand this script 37 lines of code and a great smooth controls man we just select all of these buttons back into pause oh man now that does forms rotation only same with this uh, because uh, one it jumps the camera also rotates this is why because of uh, this back into pause back into pause rotation only no loop time nothing only the hope is gonna work and uh, once another thing this is a new method of making two-way jump ingenuity by me because I didn't cite on YouTube because this is my method and I created it now while making the video I carried it now so you can see that it jumps and jumps also but the animation is not good because he f stands on the f uh, like in the air because of animation so what can I do but uh, you I hope you get the good animation from Maximo and guys this video ends here for now I hope you understand it and I hope you understand it if you wanna get a preview so I will do, can do this for you when he is idle because this condition tells that the character is in idle position this condition tells when you watch the previous tutorial you will see that we have added this condition here to get back to idle position so to get in back in idle position like this get back in idle position same case it means this condition means if this condition is true it means that he is in idle position so when he is in idle position he get the input of jump he performed this animation and he didn't perform running jump animation because his jumping wasn't true this was true but this wasn't true so he didn't perform it both condition must be true so in the jump I I just added this for condition that he isn't jumping this means this anyway condition means that he's, he's in jumping uh, he's in running animation so same as here he's in running animation and when he get input of jump he jumps and here he didn't play idle jump because this one is false here this is the method I hope you understand it so so guys this video ends here I hope you liked it and if you liked it really so then please subscribe to my channel for more videos like that and if you didn't understand it or if you want this tutorial in Urdu I can do this for you because I'm Pakistani and uh, guys this video ends here uh, till the next time goodbye